Welcome to our online. Next, we're going to look at factoring the sum of cubes. What we mean by sum of cubes? Two numbers or two letters or two terms that are cubed and added together, and it turns out the quantity a cubed plus b cubed can be written in the factored form of a plus b times a squared minus ab plus b squared. Just to make sure that we know that that is correct, we're going to multiply these together again. So we're going to multiply a times each of the three terms here and b times each of the three terms. When we do that, notice that minus a squared plus b, or I should say minus a squared b plus a squared b plus a b squared minus a b squared, the four middle terms disappear and end up again with a cubed plus b cubed. So indeed, that is the proper and correct form, this right here, factored form of a cubed plus b cubed which means that we have something that looks like the sum of cubes, we can then factor it using the very same technique. Sometimes we need to change things just a little bit and realize that x cubed plus 27 can actually be written as x cubed plus 3 cubed, because 3 cubed is indeed 27, and then it becomes clear that this is indeed, yes, that is the sum of cubes, and we can use the very same techniques. So in this case, we can see that a is equal to x and b is equal to 3, so we use the very same process. So this can be written as a plus b, which in this case would be x plus 3, times a squared, which is x squared, minus a times b, which would be a times b, that would be 3 times x, plus b squared, which would be 3 squared or 9. And so this is then the factored form of our original problem. Again, if this was a test and you want to make sure that it was done correctly, you can multiply everything out again to make sure you end up with the very same initial quantity or initial binomial. So let's do that. We're going to multiply the x times x squared minus 3x and 9. Sometimes it helps to draw little arrows. So we're going to re-multiply everything together. And the same with this to make sure we did it correctly. And so this would be x times x squared, which is x cubed, x times minus 3x, minus 3x squared, x times 9, that would be plus 9x, and then 3 times x squared, that would be plus 3x squared, 3 times a minus 3x is a minus 9x, and 3 times 9 is plus 27. Notice that if we look carefully, we have a minus 3x squared and a plus 3x squared, that cancels out, and we have a plus 9x and a minus x, that cancels out, and indeed, we get back the same thing, which is equal to x cubed plus 27, our original problem. So we know we did it correctly. So by using the very same format, but then recognizing that in this case, we know that x equals a and uh, 3 equals b, then we use that in the very same way as we did over here to factor the sum of cubes. And that is how it's done.